The gentlewoman from Missouri is recognized. I thank you, Madam Speaker, and I thank my friend and colleague, the Chairman of the Judiciary Committee, uh, for his strong defense of life for the precious unborn and for promoting a culture of life at all times. I stand, Madam Speaker, in support of H. Con Res 3, expressing the sense of Congress condemning the recent attacks on pro-life facilities, groups, and churches. There have been now nearly 100 recorded acts of violence and intimidation against pro-life individuals and organizations by radical pro-abortion activists since the initial leak of the draft Supreme Court Dobbs opinion. Following the leak and issuance of the Supreme Court's decision in Dobbs versus Jackson's, Jackson Women's Health Organization, anti-life fanatics have targeted, destroyed, or vandalized as I said, over 100 pro-life facilities, groups, and churches to further their radical cause. Pro-life pregnancy centers nationwide play a critical and important role in supporting and assisting pregnant women and their children and their families. Because the Biden Justice Department refuses to protect these vital resource centers, Congress must be clear in condemning the violence against pro-life facilities. And I urge all of my colleagues to stand against violence and to support H. Conrez 3. I yield back. The young woman.